bacteria is running rampant in your water bottle, or at least it could be. Chris Jacobs went and looked into the problem just for you. Chris, what did you find out? First off, people don't wash their water bottles very often. Secondly, they really should. Take a look. Water bottles, we use them every day. I've had this water bottle for a year and one month. Disposable, reusable, canteens and camelbacks. Everyone wants to be hydrated and many want to help the planet at the same time. So reusable water bottles have exploded in popularity. But are you taking the necessary precautions? Well, I wash mine about once a month. A dark, warm, moist container is a perfect medium for growing bacteria. I wonder where we can find one of those. And it's water bottles like these where the bacteria can grow. But Professor David Erickson, who studies bacterial disease, says you may not need to worry. The uh, risk of infection from a re reusable water bottle is not any greater than any of those other sources. So you're safe, unless you put anything besides water in your bottle. There's other organic stuff in there, sugars and proteins, and they might be able to grow. So anything with sugar, Gatorade, crystal light powder, juice, maybe some hot cocoa, or other organic material, like protein powder. Looking at you, Vasa. So while many d people do wash their water bottle. I think the average person probably washes it like maybe once a semester, so once every three months. Almost none wash them as often as they should. That, that's gross, but by, by washing it even once a week, I guess, would <laughs> be a step up for some of the students. So have a great day and enjoy your next sip. <laughs> Where it can get really get tricky is if you have a rubber mouthpiece like uh, is on this one. That is where you're most likely to have bacteria or even mold grow. So if you don't have time to wash the whole bottle, at least wash the mouthpiece. It'll help keep you safe. Thanks, Chris.